Hey guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. So here are two Galaxy S22 Ultra, Snapdragon and Exynos version. And today we are going to test the gaming performance on these two devices with GOS turned off. For how to turn off GOS, I have a separate video tutorial on that. I'll leave the link down below, so go check that out. And today the test procedure will be the same. We'll play the game about for about 10 minutes on both devices while showing the real-time FPS and power consumption at the bottom of the footage. And at the end of the 10 minutes, we'll measure the device temperature and also do a quick review of the performance as well as power consumption of these two devices, right? So we've done this comparison before. It's just that this time, both devices have GOS off. Yep, so if you are interested, you can watch the full footage. Otherwise, you can skip to the end of the video for temperature, FPS, and power results. All right, let's go.
Okay, so that's 10 minutes of gaming, and let's measure the device temperature. It seems that the Exynos device is actually the cooler one here. The max temperature I can find is about 44 degrees, while the Snapdragon is uh, a bit hotter at 47 degrees. For FPS results, now we see a very apparent trend of throttling. So before throttling, the Exynos achieved uh, 52 FPS, while the Snapdragon achieved around 55 FPS. So that's a bit better on Snapdragon. And after about 2 to 3 minutes, both devices become hot and start to throttle. And after throttling, the Exynos averages at 33 FPS, while the Snapdragon was able to achieve a higher 38 FPS. And then overall, the average FPS on Snapdragon is 41, while on the Exynos is about 10% lower at 37. And of course, both see a very significant increase of performance uh, with GOS turned off, right? So if you want to see the performance figures with GOS on, check out my other video. I'll also link the video down below. As for power consumption, before throttling, they are not much different. The Exynos use 7 points. 6 watt while the Snapdragon use 7.4 watt so it's a bit higher on Exynos but not by much but after they start with throttling the difference is a bit more interesting we see the Exynos use 5.2 watt of power while the Snapdragon use a much higher 
6.4 watt. So it seems that Samsung has a more relaxed uh, throttling strategy or thermal control on the Snapdragon variant comparing to the Exynos variant. Okay guys, so that's all for today's video. If you find my video helpful, please subscribe my channel and also share my videos. Okay, thank you and see you next time.